Today in the physics lab, we're going to be doing the lab on equipotential lines. Again, there is no real virtual lab for this, so it's similar to the one on all electric field lines. So, again, you can read over the sheet of what should be done, but if we're stuck virtual, there's not a whole lot we can do here. So, for this lab, you should have been learning in class about the electric potential or equipotential lines. And here you can see for this lab that I've inserted, you can see the uh, field lines, you know, the ones with the arrows that you had to analyze in the last lab. And now you can see the electric or equipotential lines here as well. And so these have all been uh, drawn and their voltages have been labeled. And so again, you know, we have two shapes, you know, first part of the lab, second part of the lab. And over here, this one was 0 and 6, and again, 0 and 6. And so here you can see like the 5-volt line and the 4-volt line, 3-volt, so on and so forth. Um, so again, I just want you to analyze the student work. And number one, how do your equipotential lines match up with your field lines? Remember, there's a specific thing that you should be looking for. And again, when these students did this, they simply just plotted it in the lab and now we're going back and we're looking at it. Do you see how these electric uh, electric field lines and equipotential lines cross? Are they crossing like they should be? Is something different? Or is it exactly what I told you it would be in the notes? And then secondly, compare and contrast the shapes. So just compare this shape uh, with that one. Again, give me two ways that they are similar and two ways they are different. 